Hi guys, welcome back to some more action with Accrington. First game of the episode is away against Huddersfield. They are above us in the league table, but they have lost two of their last three. We'll try and get through as many games as we can in this episode. Hopefully get up to the January transfer window. But uh, we'd like to win as many, obviously, and push forward. 2-1 defeat, though. Pasilic sent off. Peltier with two goals. Not the greatest start to the episodes. I am starting to get worried about the sale of Lowe. Um, I just think maybe it was the wrong decision to make as obviously our two keepers that we have at the moment aren't playing that well and we haven't started the season well. But then again, I suppose if we had started the season better than this, I wouldn't be so worried. So... It's one of those, take it or leave it, really. Injuries haven't helped us. Suspensions haven't helped us. But we need to uh, we need to turn things around. We need to get something done fairly sharpish. Otherwise, I think I could be out of a job soon. Derby at home is our next game. Tunkara, Breveo, Pasilic. We're going to go with Alutza back in there. We'll go with Cyrillic and then I'll swap him with uh, Dow. Derek, Gale back in there. Weissmeyer, Keepers, Friedrich. Uh, is Gamin fully fit yet? Let's have a look. No, he's not. So, we'll stick with this team. In fact, actually, one thing I want to have a look at, I want to compare... Um, the goalkeeping stats 75, 75, 72, 72, 76 for De Witt, whereas Olmero is 69, 75, 72, 73, 73. They've both got 76 reflexes. Diving is better for De Witt, so he's going to stay there. And we'll get this game against Derby done. Uh, I'll to fix the unavailable right Derby well only conceded one in three scored five um it will be nice to get something from this game it's a 130 kickoff on the Saturday so you're assuming it's live on TV and we get a one-all draw Gale with the goal Martin missed a penalty early doors for Derby Gale with the equalizer 12 minutes from time puts it in 16th place in the table and we are well, we're only six points off the playoff places, so it's not too bad. But it would be nice to just get up there and not have to worry about it. And uh, I've got a week's break now, so it's a good time to just to rest, get everyone back. Although it looked like there was players leaving on international duty coming up. I want to return home, says Sherlock. That's a shame. I could have brought you to uh, to Accrington. Players leaving. Asciata, Vizcarondo, Dow and Omero. Or Aremo. Right, so. Vizcarondo out. Pasilic back in. Dow out. Drury back in. That will do us. We can uh, just auto-replace the players on the bench. At the appropriate time. Also fixed just for this match. And uh, right, Wolves. 1-1 one, one, draw, 1 loss. One of their last three. Not scoring many, but not conceding many. So this will probably be a 3 all thriller. Right, taking a long time for the players to warm up. It must be pretty cold out there. But hopefully we can get a result. I don't care if it takes some 50 minutes to warm up as long as we get something from the game. Two all draw. Cyrilic and Tunkara with the goals. McCormack rescuing a point for Wolves three minutes from time. Wasn't quite a three all draw, but a 2 2 draw. Miserable Balotelli wants to pack his bags. Okay. Update from England. Where is Balotelli at the moment? Does he want to come and play for me? Where are you? Uh, ah, he's still at Liverpool. 
So, in 2019, Mario Balotelli is still at Liverpool. I can't see that happening in real life. But, who knows, and wow, tough game coming up right now. Lifestyle misery of Balotelli. Um, so, it looks like Southampton coming up, which is a very tough game. Stick with the same team from the last one. And, wow, look at that. Blackburn was the only team in the last three games to score against Southampton. Reading and Sheffield Wednesday couldn't score against them. We could and we won. Fuck yeah. Even down to 10 men after 13 minutes. Tunkara and Pasilic with the goals. Oh, thank God for that. Right, puts us up to 13th in the table. Uh, Josh Murphy and Dale... They're both worried about their roles at the club. Well, ironically, Josh Murphy are probably going to be playing in this next game. And Dale, there's a good chance you could be, at least be on the bench for this next game, Walsall. So we need to take our our good form. Um, okay, so the board are telling me to sort this out. So I feel as though... I could not have many games left with Accrington. Obviously, they're expecting me to be uh, pushing for promotion, and I'm the bottom half of the table. But that win against Southampton has hopefully given us some um, some morale-boosting uh, juices, and then we can get something done in this uh, in this episode, and especially in this game now. So Dale there on the left. Drury. But yeah, um, I feel as though if I don't win the next two or three, I could uh, I could be sacked, and this could be a bloody short episode. No, I don't want to play the game. Right, Walsall have conceded. Four goals and three goals in two games. Beat Reading 2-0. They've scored in every game. So they are a goal-scoring team, but they're also conceding a lot. They don't concede in this game, though. Wow, a 1-0 win for Walsall. Let's move forward. Just try and get on with the next game. Forget that last one. Move forward. And uh, pray to God that we get a win soon. Um, Weissmeyer isn't playing that well, wants to play more. Suspension over, suspension over. Player injured, Tunkara out for nine days. Dallas has a report, 89, 78, 82. Rubinho, sign you up. Reject and reject. Uh, Wilkelm has a report, 73, 73, 88. And sign you up and reject the rest. And we have a report. Nothing, 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 nothing. Yes, thank God they're all going. One thing I haven't seen for a while is the chief exec going with a press conference because part of me would like to do one just to see if I can get the uh, um, the morale up. Right, Viscarondo, Pasilic down. Let's get Drury back in. Cyrillic back in. Friedrich and Dale are both playing. Friedrich and Derek are both playing well. Tukara off the bench. Murphy onto the bench. Weissmeyer on for winter. Weissmeyer, where can you play? Sick of doing that, sort of hitting left. Vice by you can play all across the back. Oh, is that Friedrich that can play all across the back? Was I looking at the wrong one? Probably. And Vice Meyer, where can you play? Just centre back. So I can then move Friedrich there and drop Dale with. So yeah, Vice Meyer. And that gives me a lot better central defence. And left back and right back are both. Sorted. Right, Afobe back to face former club. But trouble is, is he in goal for Chef Wednesday? The answer is 
Uh, no, he's not even on the bench. 1-0 win. Yes, finally. So, it looks like it's win one, lose one. Win one, lose one. As we hit November. Suspension over for Tunkara. We'll stick with who we have. We had a winning team for the last game, so we're going to stick with that team. Tunkara, I will put back on the bench. Just because I uh, I want to have that striker on the bench. And we'll uh, we'll take it from there. But we're not looking too good so far. Lutzer wants to discuss his wage. Are you wanting a, a bit more cheddar? CDM, 23 years of age. Where are you? Let's have a look at you. 2,250. One year, I'll give you 4,250. You can be an important first team player. I will sort out more contracts, but I'll do that off recording. And right, Reading away. So the game we need to win. They have conceded in every game. Hopefully, they do in this game, and we can limit them to a, to a goal at most. Okay, so they get two, but we get two. Two all draw. Breveo and Derek with the goals. I forgot to put Tunkar on the bench, didn't I? What a twonk. Um, four officers. Press conference. Yes, this is what I've been wanting. And I'm going to motivate my team. Uh, Winter is moaning about his role. But players are playing well, so... I can't bring you in, but I probably will do for for this game. For the simple fact is that it's a short stop between games, as Alutza has accepted his contract. Tunkara back in, Murphy in, Vasilic, and Baker in on the right. So down. Weissmeyer struck with Friedrich and Dale at the back. Who can come onto the bench? Anyone? Arsciata can come onto the bench for Drury. Dompe, let's get you on for Viscarondo. And that'll do. In fact, actually, Sega, I want you on the bench. For. Sorry. There we go. That will do us nicely. Tough game against Blackburn coming up. And who's leaving? One, two, three players are leaving, and Alossia looks to sign his contract, so we don't have to worry about that. At home to Blackburn, they've only conceded one in their last three. They're playing. It says they're playing a four-one-two-one-two two, formation, but that looks a lot like a four-one-three-two. 3-1 win, holy shit, O'Connor sent off very early, before the 49th minute, Breveo with 2, Dow with 1, that's the sort of result we needed to turn things around, get the fans back on our side, a win against the local rivals, um, oh yeah, that is the good result, Birmingham coming up in the next game, they're really ramming this Balotelli thing down my face. I can't sign him, I've just not got the funds. I would love to, but just can't sign him. Right, we're on 21 points. We are only 4 points now above the uh, playoff places. Birmingham are down in 20 seconds, so this is a game I should we should be winning. Sort the problem out for itself, and let's get this game done well. So they have conceded in every game, have uh, Birmingham. Not conceded in the last three at least. Only one goal twice. They lost to Blackburn and we beat Blackburn. So Law of Averages said we should be beat Birmingham. I can't remember how we got on against Peterborough. I think we drew with them and I think we lost to Bolton. So we've had mixed results against all these teams. And in this game, 3-0 win. Pasilic, Murphy and Tunkara with the goals. Back-to-back -back victories, that should bump us up the table slightly. Only 11th, so we haven't gone up that much. About your performance, uh, I want to reach out to you and if I had, despite the concern, 
We should continue to be at the helm for the foreseeable future. I'm not under pressure. No, I'm under no pressure. Don't worry about it. Um, nice break now. I say I'm the right man for the job, but it won't surprise me if it comes up sacked in the next couple of days. Uh, it's just the way things are going. But then again, I've seen that message before when things haven't been right. But we're not that far off the playoffs, so I don't see there any real need to change things. And we're doing quite well. This is a game we should be winning. Preston, it's another derby. They've lost their last three. There should be no reason why we shouldn't win this. I know we're away from home, so maybe a draw. Two results that I would have taken out of the three, and the one result that we that happens we don't get. It's just, I just, I, I do wonder about this game sometimes. Leicester coming up, so we really needed that win against Preston to put us in some good form for this game against Leicester. Um, I am going to look to potentially make a change or two. This Corondo back. Let's have Gale back. Friedrich across to there. Winter out and Weissmeyer back in. Cyrillic back in. That is our best starting 11, so that's what we're going to go with. And then, yeah, let's see what we get done. Leicester at home. This is a game. And I suppose that, that defeat, though, in that last game, we only dropped one place in the table. Mixed form for Leicester. One one draw, one loss, one. Derek sent off in the first minute. It's not going to help our cause. Still win the game 2 1. Holy shit. Viscarondo and Cyrillic. That's just unrealistic. A team that's got Wood, Drinkwater, Schlup, Schmeichel, Hutchinson, Borja, Knockart on the bench. Albrighton, that team should be, I don't know, down to 10 men for 89 minutes and we win the game 2 1. 9 plus offices. Let's start down the bottom. Update from England, player suspended. Update from England, training injury. Friedrich out for three weeks. Dale wants to be sold. Murphy wants to depart. I can, let, I can happily let you go, Murphy. I've got other players there. Right, scout report, 92 max, sign him up, 68 max, reject, 66 max, reject, Viltcown, what have you got, 71, 86, 89, sign him up, reject, 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 and that'll do, oh, 20 minutes in, nearly, uh, Nearly two months down, I think. We are. We're in December now. Time for a change at Accrington. The midfield is the heart of the team. Fans recently suggest that Accrington's midfield is skipping a beat. And we need someone else in that area. Interesting, that's what they're saying. One for the future. Marinez Moritz of Accrington. Apparently. Kakluta wants to play in this game. But no, I need to put my best team out. And I want you to bog off and go on loan. Friedrich is injured, so Gamin back. Dale in. Other than that, let's stick. Tunkara and Breveo both went up to 76, I saw there, so they are improving, which is good news. Swansea away. This is a game we should be looking to take a point from. I, I, I'd say a, a point is a good result for us. Swansea away. Difficult place to go. What sort of team are they putting out in 2019? Is Bonnie still there? Popov, Dyer's there. Key's still there. Fabianski in goal. Fernandez at the back. Taylor at left back. Sigurdsson on the bench. And we go two on defeat. Gale sent off. Miss Carondo looked like he was going to start the fight back. But Gale screwed it by getting sent off. Suspension is over for one play. I'm guessing that's... Who was the suspension over for? That's it, Derek. Gammy wants to discuss his wages. Oh, I don't want to request funds, do I? I've got freaking shitloads. Um, Gammy to discuss wages. Four grand a week here on. Not doubt. Gammy, four grand a week. You want a one year extension. I'll give you five grand. You're going to be a crucial first team player. 
You will be for this season and potentially next, and then we'll just have to see after that. So, that was a poor result against um, Swansea. We need to bounce back here against Watford, and we could do with could do with wins up until the um, the January transfer window. And um, yeah, we need to get back into we need to get into the top half. We definitely need to be in the, the top half of the top half of the table. If that makes any sense, obviously twenty four teams in the league, twelve is the top half. We need to be sixth or above. But now we've got twenty seven points. The gap has opened up again. It's back to six points between us and the playoff places. So we need to really get that up ASAP. Dale for Derek, there you go, look at that, apart from, see when Gale's back, our lowest player is going to be Gamin, the right back, but what we can do, see when Friedrich's back, we can have him on the right side of midfield, so, oh, sorry, not midfield, right side of, uh, I was looking at uh, Drury, we can have him on the right side of the defence, so my defence is going to be Gale 75, Derek 77, Weissmeier 74 and Friedrich 76 so 74 is going to be the lowest anywhere in that team which surely we should be we, we should be doing better than we are but Watford coming up they've scored but conceded in every game same again here two all draw not what I wanted I can start to see signs up that says sack the manager but we'll have to see we've got FA Cup coming up soon and yeah not much else really I am we 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 we're, we're hanging on to the top half of the table but I'm sort of I'm trying to I'm trying to and I'm struggling to think of ways to To move things around because I'm trying to keep most of this money that we've got in the in the budget for um, for Ebra's regen, but maybe I just have to go out and buy a striker, a central defender, and maybe another centre mid, or maybe uh, uh, Marve look to bring him in. Two on win though against Borough, so the team is doing well. Unless I could, stupidly, I don't want to do it. But I could, and I was going to have this current about for two months. Um, yeah, you guys can weigh in with your thoughts on this. Go out and potentially look to buy a keeper, and when I can find like an 80 rated keeper and bring him in with the money and just have that solid keeper at the back, maybe that's a way around things and that's something we can look at doing. There's Karando Pasilic. Winter, Gale's back, Friedrich's back, can stay a Lutza. Let's keep you in there for now. Right side of midfield, Murphy. Seeger's back, Dow can stay. That'll do, sod it. We're not going to run the risk of any more players. We'll stick with that for this team. And we have Bournemouth at home. Who well have scored two in their last three games, conceded three in those last three games, but they scored an average of two per game. Well, it is definitely two per game. But by the wonders of EA's logic, they don't score in this game, and we score three. So the the the, the most they've conceded, well, all that they've conceded in the last three games, we con they conceded in just the one game, and we can now see the playoffs. On the little league table, we're up to eighth, only three points behind the playoffs. Millwall coming up. This is a game we need to get something out of. Derek is injured, so Weissmeyer back in. Pasilic out, Baker in. Cyrilic back in. Tukara out, Breveo back in. 
that'll do just resting a few players especially over this busy Christmas period maybe I need a striker I do want this Rosmus turn though he will be the nice one to bring in but obviously I need to see what happens in terms of finances for next season as to whether we can bring him in then but Millwall have taken one point out of a potential nine so it would be nice to get a win here and get into the playoffs Baker missed a penalty fuck seven minutes from time that could have sealed the victory it would have been nice to have gone into uh, into a new year with a little bit more momentum but never mind we'll, uh, we'll roll on to the first of the month we'll have a look at a team check that's uh, where a squad uh, a squad report and then um, play a conversation Dale Murphy want to leave um, so I think Murphy wants to go right so Dale I want to keep and Murphy I can let go at least some of these youth players are just not as good as I thought they were. 83 max, 90 max, 89, 85, 80. Uh, Viltcan with a scout report, 81, 86, 88. And Dallas, 71, 71, 71, 71, 71. So they all need a crap. So yeah, um. I'm going to leave it there guys obviously this episode is coming out to you on Wednesday I will record the next episode Friday and have it to you on the Saturday but yeah Murphy I think is going to be on his way out but other than that what should we do um, fans angle for England native read is this for me wild speculation Okay, so the fans are saying that I should go after Harrison Reed, which is an interesting one. View play it valued at ten million, wage of fifty grand. I really don't think well, it's going to be the entire budget gone on him, and that's something I'm not potentially keen on doing. Um, who was looking to leave? It was uh, Murphy. Which, there we go, he can leave, Dale will get more game time, but yeah, so what should I do in terms of other players, we've got 11.4 million to spend and we've got 80 grand in wages, Anywhere, any areas you think I should look to improve the team, um, let me know, yeah, I'll record, uh, next episode will be out, for, uh, out Saturday, what I'll do is, obviously this one's going up Wednesday, I'll record Saturday's episode late Friday night so it gives everyone a chance to comment on the video, suggest players, suggest what I should do, should I try and go after Rasmus turn again, it would be nice to potentially get him in, but we'll have to see. We'll just have to, to look at him. Mm, what should I do, guys? Let me know your thoughts. We're uh, we're not doing as well as expected. But we're not that far off, I don't think. We'll have a quick look at uh, the table. We are in ninth place. Four points off the playoffs. But we're eight points off automatic promotion. And we'll do another quick squad report, obviously get one done. I won't run through every player, but a lot looks like they have improved. De Witt is at 1 to 74, Gamin up to 74, Friedrich 77, Weissmeier is up to 74, Gale, Dow, Alutza up to 75, Baker at 73, Sorry at 74, Segan not moved, Riveo to 76, Omero's not moved, very unhappy. I may look to let him go out on loan. I've got Cal on. Um, Drury, 
is going down. Uh, Domp is going up. Creepers is going up a lot. Basilic not moved. Arisciata not moved. Tunkara has gone up a lot. Larson not moved. Dale not moved. Kakalutu has not moved. Viscarondo has not moved, but he's injured. Uh, Bijimin has gone up four. David up three. Maritz up two. Callon hasn't moved. Uh, Van Beck up three. Derek's still improving. He's up one. Murphy's up three. Winter not moved. Armstrong is out on loan, not moved. Manessis out on loan, not moved. So guys, there's the squad report. Let me know what you think I should do, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers.